What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung revealed at this year's Qualcomm 5G Summit in Hong Kong that they'll launch their next wave of UFS 3.0 enabled devices in the first half of 2019. The Galaxy S10 wasn't mentioned, but considering that the S10 is the major Samsung phone to be launched in the first half of 2019 means the S10 most probably will have this. Samsung will launch a separate 5G model, so it's more than likely this 5G S10 will have this fast storage. The current Samsung flagships have UFS 2.1, and even though it's no slouch when it comes to read and write speeds, UFS 3.0 is gonna be the next echelon of read and write speeds, and in the process, take smartphone responsiveness to the very next stage. It also consumes less power, so it will be able to deliver a small increment in battery life, so very excited for this. So it looks like Samsung has completed the development of graphene batteries. Let me explain you in brief if you have no idea what graphene batteries are. Samsung has developed a new battery tech called Graphene Ball. With this, the charging times are dramatically reduced as it charges 5 times faster. Currently lithium ion batteries take an hour to fully charge but this will be reduced to 12 minutes with this new tech. Graphene batteries also spikes the battery capacity by a whopping 45% without increasing the physical size of the battery. It can also maintain a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, which is higher than the standard lithium ion batteries, which can only be fast charged up to about 45 degrees Celsius. This means it could turn out to be revolutionary for both smartphones and electric vehicles. Right now, it's unclear exactly when Samsung will begin using the new batteries inside its smartphones. I don't think the S10 will have it, but it's possible the Note 10 could have this. So keeping my fingers crossed for that. So the entry level Galaxy S10 will have a 64GB as base storage. Samsung launched the Note 9 with 128GB of internal storage, so people were asking whether that will continue with the S10 as well. I'm sure the S10 Plus and the regular S10 both will have 128GB of base storage. The entry level S10 however, as this rumor suggests, will have 64GB, which is understandable as it's an entry level model so to keep the cost down, they have to cut corners somewhere. Thank god they're not doing that with the display. We don't want Samsung to replicate what Apple did with the 10R. So